It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance. This is episode 106. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Noel. Thanks so much for being here today to talk about 90 Day Fiance Season 8, Episode 9. Yay! Very exciting today. And this episode is sponsored by Apostrophe, a prescription skincare company for people that are ready to take their acne seriously. All right, I'm ready. Oh my God, so exciting. Um, Before we start the podcast, Mm -hmm. I need to remind everyone of something because people are going insanely crazy about our unexpected trash talk podcast on Patreon. Oh, I mean, listen, this is a good season. It's such a good season. Uh, So we cover the show Unexpected on TLC. Mm -hmm. You know you watch it. Mm -hmm. You could join at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Trash Talk Podcast. And you will get, um, we actually, we covered season two, three, and now we're covering season four. Mm -hmm. Exciting stuff, Unexpected Trash Talk. And with that, you will also get our entire back catalog of BS, which is our other podcast, where Noelle and I tell you a little bit more about ourselves. We chat about all different things and people absolutely love us. We BS, if you will. Ooh, <laughs> Noelle, you're such a good describer. I really am. Listen, that's what I get paid the big bucks for, you know? <laughs> you're a very, very good describer. Uh, so, yeah, we need you to do that. And also, we have magnets for sale. We have stickers for sale. Check us out on social media because that is where you could see all the pictures on things. So that's at 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I on Instagram and Twitter. You got Noe Girl on Twitter. And Noe underscore Bear 810 on Instagram. And you can find all of these things also in the Facebook groups. Mm-hmm. You know, so you could join the 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk Facebook group on Facebook and everything's there. I love the Facebook group. I post silly memes that I find on Reddit. I know. All the You're time. such a good Redditor. <laughs> I, l- I love Reddit. That's what I do at night when I can't sleep. I read Reddit. I, um, I just uh, think about how um, disturbing my life is. Oh, I mean, listen, I do that. And then in order to distract (laughs) myself from the disturbance, I read Reddit. There's no distraction. (laughs) Speaking of a disturbed lifestyle, let's talk about Brandon and Julia. I just want to make one statement about this entire episode. Sure. Every man on this episode was a jerk except for Zayed. Everyone. I did not like one guy on this episode. Zayed's the only guy who seems fine. Yeah, he was really nice. And the rest of them were all mean. This whole episode. The worst. Yeah. The worst. This okay. is not the greatest advertisement for men no, as a people. No, it's definitely not. It's <laughs> definitely not. As a species, yeah. it is not. <laughs> not great. All right. So Brandon and Julia. So Brandon is secretly meeting Betty and Ron at one of their <laughs> swingers clubs for some wings. Now that you've said they're swingers, I can't stop thinking about it. I'm sorry. This is why I read Reddit at night because you put things like this I in know. My, my mom was like, wait a minute. You said that Betty and Ron are swingers. And I'm like, yes, you have to read the tabloids. That's where you get the real information. Right. Hello. That's where you find out. What is it? The news? That's where you find out everything. <laughs> the tabloids. Not the real news. The tabloids. That's where you yeah. find out. The- How do you think I just followed all of the election news? Tabloids. Well, that was like, there was like the one I used to love it. It was called the news. And that's where they had like Bat Boy. Okay, well, I will tell you something really quick. Um, I was on a podcast called Race Wars. This is maybe two years ago. Okay. And we had the guy from that newspaper, the guy that founded it, and he Mm -hmm. was the one who discovered Bat Boy. He was on the podcast with me. Yeah. Tracy, I, like, my father and I were obsessed with this tabloid. We would buy it every week and, like, read it to each other. That was, like... It was, like, Mad Magazine almost. Yes. Like, I wish I would have saved them. I don't even know if they have them anymore. No, they they do. So, they have a website now, I think. So, this guy... Just, I'm sorry, this is a side note. No, this guy was me. straight-faced about Bat Boy. And, Stop like, it. you couldn't make him break character. He was like, no, Bat Boy is still alive. And, like, he made it, like... He's like, I discovered him being a bat. Yeah. I wish that I was there just as a fly on the wall. Because I can definitely... This is my favorite thing in the world. I could definitely put you two in touch. <laughs> Great. He sounds like a, a soulmate to have. He seemed not well. 
<laughs> that's what he seemed very I mean, I don't, well. i'm not very well so it's <laughs> fine <laughs> all right so he meets uh betty and ron ron at their swingers club and it's right? nice because he didn't even have to wear a jacket so that was good mm-hmm. no he wears the same type of shirt every time very small it's mm-hmm. f- it was it, it's also it doubles as a shirt for his teddy bear yes exactly <laughs> uh-huh so they get some wings mm-hmm. yum and he sits down and he's like listen we need to leave and betty goes leave what <laughs> leave this relationship with you mom i learned it from watching you mom the thing is okay so a lot of people don't like his parents why they're because they're the worst okay i am in the minority here i side with them on this now i have joined the dark side mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no um i think that because i don't blame julia though i think she's a little bratty but i think this is all brandon's fault I don't feel bad for him at all. So I understand why his parents feel the way that they do. Sure. Okay. I understand. It doesn't mean that I like them. I don't mind. I think his dad is a little bubbly with anger. Oh my God. (laughs) All right. So now he's also like, listen, the real reason we need to leave the farm is because she's scared of the animals. She has a phobia. Right. Mm -hmm. He loves to say she has a phobia of cute animals. Of cute animals. (laughs) of cute animals like he's showing her a video of a puppy and she's just Mm -hmm. screaming in terror she's screaming she's pulling her hair out she's so scared (laughs) help (laughs) so he said that he will get an apartment and they said that they're dumbfounded i mean but what did they expect they were kind of pushing these these two kids okay and then he says that it is actually half the animal's fault and half betty's obsession with him yeah i mean he was being when his okay i couldn't i don't care how you feel about your mom if your mom is sitting there crying because of something you're saying and you don't flinch there's something wrong with noelle he was she crying care. or was she fake crying this was there was not one tear there was no moisture coming out of her face whatsoever i don't know i think she felt bad oh you are a stupid person he sucks i just don't like him and i think that he's mean to everyone i think he's full of shit that's how i feel she's ugly crying about losing her son she's ugly crying yeah and his dad is screaming in his face and they're tag teaming him no pun intended Mm -hmm. and they are just like losing their minds on him because he's a Mm grown-up that is possibly moving out and it's like you know he's not moving out he can't afford it but did you see, I don't know, maybe it's the environment that I'm used to, the way I was raised. But like, <laughs> I understand his parents. I don't know. I get it. I think that um, him and Julia are very ungrateful. Sure. Mm-hmm. I Okay. But see, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. But like Julia didn't ask to be born into this family. You know what I'm so- saying? totally and that's why i'm not mad at her brandon could have told her from jump when you come we can't share you're a farm hand we're on a farm you're, you're gonna be working on the farm you're gonna pay, earn your keep yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you're gonna be an au pair for goats and crickets <laughs> <laughs> it's a bucket uh i'll explain it when you get here <laughs> there's a cave involved <laughs> also uh it's a puppy mill it sounds cute it's not as cute as it sounds um definitely not cute it has nothing to do with sewing no (laughs) and it has nothing to do with corn or flour no it does not (laughs) it has to do with trafficking underage puppies that's what it has to do with basically oh little baby right it's not like you could just like lay there and play with them all day no that would be they're they're at work although she has a phobia of cute animals so that might not even work (laughs) out anyway (laughs) well that's what he's saying that she's scared of the puppies not the Uh not the pig poop that she has to pick up all day long Right, not the pigs that go to like attack her. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. So now she the the fake crying is getting faker and faker. And right. then but they drop off their apps at the table and she's like, Thank you, Enrico. I love it. I love that she knows him by name too. And she's That's like, their swingers club. And then the dad's like, Well, I'm not I don't even have an appetite anymore. And Enrico giggles. That I don't I know. Enrico's he like, giggled. I've seen you pound down mozzarella sticks right i've seen you eat a lot of hot dogs while you've been here so (laughs) at the the swingers club (laughs) all right so brandon's like all right listen you don't want me to move out because he started big he started big with a lie he's like we're actually going to move um to russia together that's the thing he knew he wasn't getting anywhere he's like okay so how about if we could just stay in the same room and then we won't move back to russia 
Right. Mm -hmm. And his dad, like you said, bubbling over with anger. Yeah, he loses it. Boiling. He is instant pot boiling. Yeah. (laughs) That's very hot, Tracy. He's pressure (laughs) cooker boiling. (laughs) And he's screaming, no, no. Like, like Brandon's a bad dog. No, no. But yeah, but I get it because he feels like Julia came and now Brandon is acting out. And like, why are we giving in? This is our beliefs. Why do we have to give in to you? Okay, but why scream? Just say no. Um, I, I, who knows? He's no, then leave. I, I, I come from a line of anger. I don't know. He was used to, <laughs> um, he's used to <laughs> reprimanding all the puppies that he mills. That's sh- I don't like that. Yeah. Well, here we are. So Brandon's calm as yeah. a cuke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Betty's like, you know what? Yes. Suddenly she's fine with it, though. Everything's fine. Uh huh. And like, okay. Ron said that he needs to take control. Like basically Brandon needs to take control of his woman. Yeah. That's where he lost me. <laughs> yeah. So now yeah. it's 70 days to wed. Yes. And he takes her to a pool hole and she loves it. Okay. Let me tell you something. Mm hmm. Is she the most easily pleased person? It's like, don't make her clean poop and take her to the pool hall. Well, because she is a nightlife yes. girl. She, she yep. took her to a pool hall. She loves it. She's like, what is this, Brandon? Is this heaven? Right. This is. She's like, there's people here. It's not animals. She doesn't even. She's like, I don't even have to. If someone poops on the floor, it's not my problem. Oh, you're so right, though. And she's, she's so cute. She's wearing, like, affliction jeans. <laughs> like... Very um, noticeably stitched jeans and a blazer. <laughs> it's very cute. They were probably milled in the mill. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, he, he gets her a blue rum drink. She doesn't right, even, for, listen. She doesn't play pool. She loves the pool. Right. Ball. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know what the drink is. She loves it. She doesn't care. Yeah, she's just happy to be out of the house. I get it. She's like, I'm outside cleaning. Mm-hmm. No poop. Yep. Also, her makeup. Is a little yeah. light for her skin tone. Her makeup is actually very light, but she mm. does a nice cat eye. She does. So yeah. he's like, listen, things have mm-hmm. changed. <laughs> you don't have to work on the farm and we could share a room. Because Okay, we- but did he talk to them about the farm? No, he threw that in. Okay, I thought so. It was a bargaining chip. Yeah. Okay. And he said that uh, he can't afford to leave. That's that's basically all. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm not going to have to work on the farm. And we get to stay in the same room. Your mom's going to kill me in my sleep. Yes. She's not wrong. Yes. And there she's so excited that they're going to get to stay together. And this is what she said. Quote, this is everything we've wanted. OK, that's everything you want. What? You're want then more. you're right, Tracy. She's easily pleased. Dream bigger. And then she wants to go home and smash, basically. <laughs> She's like, I am so full of blue rum drink. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my God. So, Noel, there's so many things that we talk about on the podcast. Yeah. And I know that all of you are listening, going like, I have something to say about that. And that's why you're going to come to the Trash Talk After Party on Stereo. The Stereo app is amazing because we can have live social conversations and it's going to be amazing. This is every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Right. You can come and talk with us live and ask questions. I had the time of my life last I can't Wednesday. wait to do this every yeah. week. So this is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Stereo app mm-hmm. every Wednesday. And it is going to be amazing. We've got brand new content live on the Stereo app every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you will be able to talk with us directly on Stereo. And you can do it from your bed. You, you can do, do it, it from, from anywhere. anywhere. Do you yep. ever realize that after we wrap up our podcast, you forget to say something super important? All the time. This is where we could talk about that. We can answer all of your questions exclusively on the Stereo app. And then you could go to um, www.stereo.com slash Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. And you look for the Trash Talk uh, show and that's where we'll be. Uh, or you could just download the Stereo app and search Trixie Tuzini. That's right. I'm very excited, Tracy. I've been looking forward to it all week. I am pumped. Speaking of conversations. <laughs> You're very good at segues. Thank and you. it's always when I'm taking a little sip of soda. Oh, my God. And then you choke a little. <laughs> Mike uh-huh. and Natalie are 
not having good conversations at all. They're not on the same page. They're having conversations with different people, apparently. So usually I'm on his side. I think right. she's the worst. Not this episode. Mm-mm. I still I hate was. him. Nope. I think he was such a dick. I would be I too do. if I had to live with a crazy Natalie. But also then like, it's sh- why bring her here? Like, why is she here? Uh, television show. I guess. I feel like he's really like jerking her around. I don't like it. Well, his mom is packing. She's going to leave. And I got to tell yeah. you, she packs her curling iron dead last. <laughs> I she, mean, you never know when you're going to need a touch up. She's got to fluff it up before she gets on the plane. <laughs> yeah. You, don't you know, pump it up. <laughs> you got to pump it up. <laughs> that's his, That's her bangs. And it's really, she's just, I don't know. She's just amazing, she's, Trish. She's interesting. I like her. I, I, she, like, I like her too. a lot more than I thought I would. She looks like a woman that would be calling bingo. <laughs> She does. She looks like a woman that uh, has more than one boa. You know, she had that blue one. I bet she has a bunch. of. Oh, she probably has them in all the colors. She got them at the flea market. Yeah. Or at the swap meet. I like that. But Uh do you think that that's what she does for her job? Like she's bingo. bingo. Yes. Yes. You called it. That is what she does. Or I see her with some kind of vest on, like maybe a Home Depot vest, like an apron. Oh, she would definitely tell me like where the combination locks are combination locks at home depot is that what you buy there no i buy paint every time i go to home depot it's for paint i don't know if she works in the paint department she's gonna maybe she knows where the drywall is she's a plumbing uh section oh okay so tell me where the snake is oh my god (laughs) the trouser snake oh my god no i would probably go like when i look at her i'm like toilet problem Really? That's what you think? Yeah. I think of like drywall. I really do. All right. Well, we'll ask her what section she works in. Okay, good. Guys, if you know what section she works in, please join our Facebook group and drop a drop a little line. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right. So now Trish is hilarious because she says something that's so funny. What does she say? She's like, uh, yeah, she's nice enough. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. And also, Natalie and Mike both had on such a front while she was there Uh for sure she said that she questions her intentions now i gotta tell you at first i didn't think so oh i don't question her intentions but yeah do you remember when she needed to get pregnant immediately if not sooner she was kind of like mike listen Mm -hmm. yes i don't care if you never talk to me again i need to get pregnant thursday yes i remember this Mm -hmm. that all is gone out the window now is it though Yes. She hasn't mentioned that one time. I think that she doesn't mention it because she knows like he's dead set against it right now. I don't know. So she's saying so they're they're eating, right? They're sitting down to eat and she's saying grace, but she's saying the Hail Mary before a meal. Okay, but that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, this is not what we say. That's not grace. No, she's Mm -mm. going overboard. Yeah. Now she's doing a whole mass before because she knows how hungry he is. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Also, is he eating cookie dough? Tracy I've I, been trying to figure this out I rewind rewound it a few times it looked like they were eating cookie dough and corn yes it was chocolate chip cookie dough I know it on was. a fork for sure yes mm-hmm. she's probably like fine but we can't eat meat and he's like fine no I'm having cookie dough for <laughs> for dinner and she's like all right well whatever it's delicious <laughs> she's like is it does it have meat in it and he's like no and she's like okay as long as there's a vegetable <laughs> <laughs> so and he's like fine corn <laughs> right of all vegetables <laughs> that's such a man vegetable i know that's corn. such a not vegetable vegetable it is yeah that's a vegetable that doesn't even break down in your body <laughs> it's, not, it's not even interested <laughs> <laughs> so now th- here's another thing that makes me question her intentions what her mom is pleading with her to be nice to mike well i think her mom is also doing that because her mom knows that she's a bit insane okay it, but you know i think her mom wants her to stay in america well, because, listen, it's not great where she's from. And I think that her mom is like, you have more opportunity. Sure. You can live a better life there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now she's like, well, what's the budget for the wedding? And he's like, $27.50. Okay. I thought he meant $2,750. No. That's what I thought. And okay. she goes, oh, everyone gets a can of Coke. And he's like a half a can. Yeah. I couldn't be at this wedding then. <laughs> Why? You like little I, cans of Coke? I, I know, but I need at least a full little can. No, but you if it's a little can, like a like the half cans that you like. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. 
<laughs> it's uh, 7.5 ounces. You would have so much fun at this wedding, please. So now... I would. I'd probably be very cold, though. The funny thing is, is that when Mike's mom came, this is what she said. Mike's mom was like, listen, pick a date that you're going to pretend right. to get married and just mm-hmm. get your mom the visa. And then if you don't get married, she just won't use it. Right. Natalie took that as we've set a date for the wedding. I know. We're going to start planning. And then they said that they stopped planning when his mom left. Um, I don't know if you started planning. No, I think she's setting herself up for disaster. I think her hopes were really high. And she thought, I think she just thought his mother meant like, okay, start planning. No, it, and if that's it doesn't not what she happen. meant. That's not no, what she meant. I know that. She was like, pick a pretend date that you mm-hmm. might pretend get married. And then you could get your mom a pretend visa. Right. And then she could stay in Ukraine. I think of all things, it's more for the visa. Right. Then she could just stay there because it's not going to happen. So it doesn't matter. Pick whatever date you want. Pick (laughs) February 31st. It doesn't matter. February 31st. The limit does not exist. (laughs) He doesn't (laughs) want to plan the wedding. Okay. So if I was with a guy Mm -hmm. and he acted like this about planning a wedding, like I would be like, "Mm, okay. So like he doesn't like me. Right. I think that's what he's trying to gather. Okay. Uh That's what he's trying to show her. Yeah. But I don't believe that though either. I don't know. But you know what, Noel? Listen, there's a lot of deal breakers with Mike, but the Uh biggest deal breaker is that he has an electric oven. Okay. Agreed. I have to agree with you. On I had this. an electric oven when I lived um, out east. Uh huh. The fire department was at my house two times. I had an electric oven at my Airbnb that I stayed at before I got married. And what happened? And I, um, I like burnt a DiGiorno pizza, mm-hmm. like a half of it on one side. The mm-hmm. whole place smoked. It was terrible. Okay, mm-hmm. I was boiling something. I think it was just yeah. pasta. Okay. The water boiled over. Uh huh started smoking because it hit the uh-huh. hot cooktop yeah the smoke went into the automatic alarm and the fire department arrived at my house yes mm-hmm. okay the second time i was frying something mm-hmm. and the oil caught fire yes so you mm-hmm. know what i did what i picked up the frying pan uh-huh i walked to the door i opened uh-huh. the door and i threw the frying pan outside on the lawn i like it and then um, I didn't realize, again, the fire department was alerted by my automatic alarm. <laughs> and they came. There was a frying pan on the lawn, right? Still uh-huh. hot to the touch. Uh, the lawn was burnt in a circle. Oh, so there was, what did they call it? A crop circle? <laughs> there was a crop circle. And they rang my bell and they were like, hey, uh, what's going on? I was like, nothing. Why? <laughs> Everything's fine. And they were like, did you have a fire? I'm like, no. <laughs> They're like, Tracy, we've been here before. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> no, I couldn't gas. though. So when we were moving into Brooklyn in my Brooklyn apartment, it was uh-huh. a gas. It was an electric stove. No. Uh, yeah. And my dad had my landlord change it because he was like, I will never cook on this. OK, so the problem is, is that sometimes you buy a house that doesn't mm-hmm. have a gas line. Yeah, I know. That's not me. Well, because so my landlord had an electric stove, but that's because his wife had Alzheimer's and he was worried about her starting a fire. At oh, night, well, I mean, I totally get as you could see, electric stoves right. never start fires. Right. I know. Seriously. But it's like, yeah, my my dad had him change it because we could never I could just never. No, no, that's a different that's a life I don't want to live. That's another animal. <laughs> <laughs> so 57 days left until they're supposed mm-hmm. to pretend get married. And he said that they really have to get to know each other. But haven't they been together for like five years now or something? I'm dying. Okay. So funny. All right. So now (laughs) they're going to go hiking. Yes. She puts on so much lip gloss that her hair is going to stick to her lips the whole time. She just wants to look nice. He was so mean to her here. I couldn't believe it. I think he's so fed up with her. So he's like, you put on too much makeup. And now she's pouting and she won't speak to him in the car. She's giving him the silent treatment. And then she says, I cannot stand criticism. I mean, she can't stand criticism. She said, especially if it's from someone she loves. She tells him he's fat. Uh Uh-huh. And she tells him he shouldn't eat butter. See, that's where I would break up with her, though. The butter thing really gets me. I know it would. (laughs) She wants him to cocktail all his shrimp. Yeah. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. I know. He's not allowed to eat All he eats is cookie dough. The guy just eats cookie (laughs) dough. (laughs) Well, that was his, uh, it was actually vegan cookie dough. So what else? Um, <laughs> now, Noel, I have yeah. to say something that's not nice. Tell me. Okay. 
All right. Is Mike wearing like a bulletproof vest? I don't know. I okay. don't know. I feel like there was a, com- a compression garment worn in this scene. Maybe. Maybe it's hunting season. I don't know. I don't so know. She's giving him the silent treatment, but, and then she gets out of the car. She sees a tree. She's <laughs> hugging the tree. She's kissing the tree. She's smelling the tree. She says it gives her energy. Listen, she's a wacko, but she like. She has straight up googly eyes talking about it. She's not <laughs> present when she's talking about this. Uh, I don't know. She makes me laugh. And I don't like her. This episode, though, I felt bad for her. So There's she, I'm just no giggling. lights on. No one's home. No one's home. Yeah. At all. No, I don't feel. They're so crazy. So now she's like, oh, can you spin me up? And like, and he spins her. I don't. I've never seen this before. It made me very <laughs> scared. Well, I loved it. I'm like, and Matt was watching it with me. I was like, do that all the time. I want you to spin me. That looks so fun. <laughs> I put me in the dishwasher. I love this. That looks so fun. <laughs> put me in the dryer. Put me in the dryer. <laughs> that looks so fun. Did he do it? Not today. No. Okay. <laughs> he didn't do it today, honestly, because he's very sore from shoveling. So, but we're going to try it next time. <laughs> I hope he heals up quickly. Um, so she says that hiking is, quote, very healthy and normal. And then she uh, throws in. <laughs> A statement. I'm very normal. I, that's what I LOL'd. Yes. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're normal. <laughs> she's like, listen, I'm not the one wearing Spanx to go hiking. I mean, she's not wrong. Also, this guy never gets cold. He wears just like a hoodie everywhere. It's no, wild. He has so many layers of bulletproof vest I and guess. Spanx. <laughs> How could he get up? He's he's melting. He probably saran wrapped himself. It's so funny. There. Now that you say it, I can't unsee it. It's yeah. just a bulletproof vest. I'm like, oh, my God. So now she now she's going to bring up that the closet smells again. And she <laughs> said that she wants a really nice smell for the closet. OK, I'm going to recommend a good smell for the closet. OK, clean it. Right. Mm-hmm. And take out what smells and then clean that. And you probably also because it's carpeted. You probably have to shampoo the carpet. Clean it. Yeah. Febreze maybe too. Okay, but maybe clean it and find the problem. I think the problem, you're right, is his clothes that are in there. Right. So then wash mm-hmm. them. So it that's like taking like rotten chicken in a in a refrigerator and then just uh-huh. putting a box of baking soda in it. Yeah. No, throw mm-hmm. out the chicken. Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. this is this is where I'm like, no. Yeah. So they go to this uh homeware <laughs> store. And now we've all been to these stores. They have a lot of them out east in the Hamptons. Yes. Yes. And they sell like housewares and then they sell candles. And and they're so overpriced. Oh, God. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So they go to this and there's a toy baby carriage, a wicker toy baby carriage. Uh, But I'm like, this can't be real. That wasn't real, right? What? That she was pushing it back and forth? No, the baby carriage. Oh, no. Like, it was that's like not a, a real no, no, one. No, 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 no. It's not okay. real. It's for, that's like what you put like a plant in yes, the house it's for or decor. something, right? Yeah. And then she's smelling all the smells. Uh huh. I like it. But oh my god, they're the best. Everything is the best smell she's ever smelled. See, but that's where I think she's cute and she's crazy because she gets excited about things. Okay, like a child. So uh huh. She's also wearing a wooden cross, like almost as a choker. And I thought, yes. like, that's almost like I feel like she could take that off her neck and then stab him in the heart with it because he believes in aliens. Yeah, like a wooden stake. Uh huh. That's exactly what that is. Yes. So the clerk at the store, mm-hmm. she's like, hey, uh, I am here from the Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Uh, he does not want to marry me. Uh-huh. Yes. He will not focus on planning this wedding. Mm-hmm. He doesn't no, help me at all. He doesn't help me at all. Um, he keeps wanting to eat meat. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> I have to live in a trailer in the woods mm-hmm. and they never end. Mm -hmm. Uh, his closet smells but you knew that she goes what what brings us here (laughs) she goes on and on and the the woman goes good luck with that okay but that's the thing is this real (laughs) i don't know i couldn't figure it out i'm like the woman looks a little bewildered it might actually be real they well they set up the scene and they tell them sure sure she wants so she takes a dish towel a floral dish towel and she goes look we need this for the wedding table Okay, but that's something my mother would pick up. Like, yes. I think my mother did pick that up for my wedding. Correct. Yes. Uh-huh. And then he takes these two crystal decanters. Uh-huh. And she's like, no, Michael, that's for alcohol. And she's like, he goes, yes, I'm getting them. 
Yeah, it was lame. It was stupid. That didn't make me mad. That Ooh, was more cool. like, what are we doing here? Yeah. He said that he's not ready to plan. Mm-hmm. And he said, e- like, if he's like saying, if we get married, we're going to like sign a paper. Right. But like, then why is she there? If you did not want to marry her, why would you have her come to America? Because you're not even enjoying anything about this. No. Unless maybe they are. Maybe behind the scenes, they're getting busy every night and having a grand old time. I don't, I don't know. know about that. Yeah. So sh- she said that even if it's a small ceremony, they still have to plan the ceremony. She right. needs a budget. She wants a guest list. And um, then was it him that said, I'm done? Let's go. It was her. It was him. Oh, it was him. He said, I'm mm-hmm. done. Let's go. This is terrible. Yeah. He's uh, he didn't want to fight. And so he's like, I don't want to discuss this here in the store. And there's no point. Yeah. He was very angry. You know, Natalie really focuses on her looks and she loves makeup. But you can put on all the makeup you want. If you don't have clear skin, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. You're absolutely right. Noelle and I have been using apostrophe. Apostrophe makes it easy to see a board certified dermatologist online. You get treated immediately and your medications are delivered to your home. You fill out an apostrophe's online questionnaire about your skin concerns and medical history. And then you just snap a few selfies and your dermatologist will get back to you with a customized treatment plan tailored just for you. Yeah, it, ha- it was really fast too. I Super took the pictures fast. and I got it right away. The best part is that Apostrophe offers topical and oral medication, so you could treat your acne from the inside out and the and every like everything, your yeah. entire face. You could treat it. Mm-hmm. It treats acne. They could also help you hit your other skincare goals, like reducing redness, wrinkles, and even dark spots. The prescription medications are absolutely amazing, and you don't have to go to the doctor. Which is the best part about it. I know. So you can get $15 off your first visit with a board certified dermatologist at apostrophe.com slash trash talk and use our code trash talk. This code is only available to our listeners. To get started, you just go to apostrophe.com slash trash talk and begin the visit. Then you use code trash talk at sign up and you'll get $15 off your dermatology visit. That's apostrophe a p o s t r o p h e dot com slash trash talk and use that code trash talk to get your dermatology visit for fifteen dollars off and we thank apostrophe for sponsoring this podcast thank you apostrophe (laughs) you're so cute (laughs) uh speaking of makeup speaking of mean men (laughs) (laughs) that too all right so let's talk about yara and hovi and Hovi, which also <laughs> his name has never been Jovi again to me. No, it's not. Mm-mm. It's not a real. It's Mm-mm. not a hard J. No, it's not. It's a Hovi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft J. So they're looking at some street art and she's she, I love her. Yeah, I like her so much. I want to be friends mm-hmm. with her in real life. I think that we could make each other laugh so much. Oh, I would be. Yeah, there are there aren't many people on the show that I would be actual friends with. I, I would, would be actual friends with her. If yeah. I was actual friends with her, though, I'd be like, listen, I like you. I think you're beautiful. What's going on with the hair? Yeah, just stop it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Let's Mm-mm. let's let's fix this. So mm-hmm. they're looking at the street art and he's like, would you like this? She's mm-hmm. like, we live in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think we need to take the street inside. Like, it's bad enough that we live here. But, you know, to him, like that jazz stuff and everything, I guess that's what he thinks is nice decor. But that's all he like. That's his only identity. That's all he knows. Yeah. He's like, it's either that or we staple dead fish to the wall because I'm I live in the bayou. Yeah. Like that Tony Soprano bass fist fish. That <laughs> exactly. <sings. laughs> He's like, that's all classy and stuff. <laughs> so she's like, listen, you're a drunk. You were drunk at the airport. Right. Mm -hmm. I hate you. So then they pass by this henna um, booth and it's henna by Jenna. Right. Which is, you know, pretty clever. Jenna. If you had to pick a profession, (laughs) you pick the right one. Yeah. I would tell you. Do. Right. It's not. Yeah. It's not like, you know, hair extensions by Jenna. (laughs) Right. I like henna by Jenna by Jenna. It works. (laughs) So they sit down. She gets some henna. Super cute. And Mm -hmm. she's like, by the way, Mm -hmm. I am pregnant. Okay, super awkward. <laughs> he says, uh, no, you're not. No, no, thank you. I understand why he reacted that sure. way at first. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, Jenna wishes she was dead. Right. Uh huh. Jenna, like you see her eyebrow goes up <laughs> when she tells him. Very funny. Um, and he says, if it's true, I'm okay with it. 
Oh my God. Yeah. Thank uh-huh. you thank so you. much. You're so great. I'm glad you're okay with this. And she keeps busting loads in mm-hmm. me. Thank like, how you. do you think we uh-huh. got here? Right. Uh huh. So he tells her to prove it. Mm hmm. And then they get to the house and he says to her, please take off your shoes when you enter my house. <laughs> but that was funny. He because was, he was silly. He was impersonating her. Yeah. Which is like, funny. Like that was a crazy request though. <laughs> so he explains that she's joked before about being pregnant. So he's going to watch her pee like he is um, a jail guard. I was going to say like they're in jail. Uh-huh. So. But uh, listen, she has, she's fibbed about it before. To she him, was like, in a kidding joking and she way. told him right away. Right, I get it, but like I get why he's apprehensive. Also, because he doesn't want it to be true. Okay, but also like there's a different way to do it. Be like, oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna faint. Can we go home and take another test and just make sure? Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now there's only one line, and he, sh- he says that she's lying. But there was like a faint other line. There is, but to boys, it's got to be like a hard two lines. Well, mm-hmm. she got the other test that says pregnant or not pregnant. Right, which is much easier. He said that she wouldn't be pregnant so fast since she came here. Do you think that he really knows the womanly body? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that anyone on a lot of these shows that we watch know how babies are they made. They really don't. They really don't. Uh, mm-hmm. He's super, super mean. And he said, um, I will have some questions for you. Yeah, he's very mean. I don't like it at all. He's not like, hey, if you're pregnant, this is great. And we'll, you know, right. we're like, be we were parents. supposed we'll to figure it out. Sure. Mm-hmm. So now he drinks some Coke and Crown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. I know. I saw the little pouch he was uh-huh. putting away. Uh huh. <laughs> and she's like, "Hey, um, are you an alcoholic?" He's like, "No, I'm stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> Always stressed out." He's like, mm-hmm. "You know, it's super stressful waking up, <laughs> living, uh-huh. going to sleep, eating. Yep. Eating stresses me out a lot." <laughs> I mean, I get that, though. And guess what? She takes another test. She's pregnant. And right. I guess he has a lot of questions. Right. Mm-hmm. OK. So okay, well, it's away. yours. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe you should watch a video. Right. Maybe um, you should learn how not to get a girl pregnant if you don't want her to get. Just pregnant. saying there's like other mm-hmm. there's there's more to life. Yeah. There's a few ways not to. Oh, my God. Well, she's going to be having a very hard time having such an unsupportive partner. And I think that BetterHelp Online Counseling will help her get through this because she could do it from anywhere she is. She could do it from the bayou. Mm -hmm. She could do it from her apartment. And even if she goes back to the Ukraine, she could do it there because BetterHelp is worldwide. This is a great app because you can do video chat. You can do telephone. You can do text. Noelle and I use it and we absolutely love it. Everything you share is confidential. It's convenient. It's uh, it's professional. It's affordable. And so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. And as a listener... You'll get 10% off your first month by visiting BetterHelp.com slash fiance. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiance. I love BetterHelp. I really oh do. God, me too. <laughs> that reminds me, I have to make my appointment for this week. Me too. Um, <laughs> so now let's talk about, speaking of mental illness Seriously. and therapy, let's yes. talk about Stephanie and Ryan. Okay. I, um, I think that I don't like both of them equally. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, they don't, neither of them are doing anything for me. Sure. So now it's their first. Because she's not even like a Darcy, like quirky crazy. No, no, she's, she's not, not even like a silly right. goose. No. Mm-hmm. So it's their first night together and right. she goes, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, I brought you some conditioner and we can condition your hair later. Mm-hmm. Thanks, mom. We? Mm-hmm. We. Well, he can't do anything alone now. We? Now he can't. Yeah. Uh huh. Can you imagine if you were like, Matt, I have to do the conditioner now. Can you come in? <laughs> <laughs> you told me that we were going to do the conditioner later. Well, I know we have to do everything together. Yeah. Oh, my God. So they did not uh, consummate the relationship the night before, which is kind of surprising. Right. That but surprised me a bit. Also, mm hmm. He said, listen, you told me your arm and your tummy hurt. I know. Well, OK. But, I mean, I don't know why her arm hurt. But okay, maybe why are we calling it tummy? To her. her tummy? It's her because that's her baby. She's probably like, my tummy hurts. Can you rub my belly? Do you think I'm pregnant? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Noel, this made me giggle so bad. 
Okay, tell me. She goes, you could have just banged me for two or three minutes, even though we were tired. Uh Uh-huh. She just wanted a quickie. Uh Uh-huh. She's like, I just wanted a quickie. It's not even about the sex. Mm." It's so weird. Mm. She is not well. So he was like, listen, we were both tired. Stop. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. So um, she said that he's lying. She's like, I know that he's lying. And there's other um, reasons why we didn't have sex last I think she thinks he's banging other girls. Yes. Right. So okay. she's like, how many other women have you been with since I've been gone? He's like zero. I did not cheat on you. Right. Which I kind of, I don't know. He seems pretty serious. I don't know. And she's like, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan. Mm-hmm. She talks yes, to him mom. like a kid. Oh my uh-huh. God. I hate this. Yeah. So this is my first thought when I'm watching this. I'm like, you don't think that dirty Harry told him what's up? okay i was thinking the same thing like there's no chance he doesn't know already for and sure you know what he doesn't care because he doesn't care like her he doesn't, he doesn't care. care he needs to get to america so yeah also side note what's with her skin now i wouldn't point this out if she didn't own a skin spa okay but it How, looks like th- something bad happened it's t- <laughs> <laughs> i love when you say that she's ve- she's discolored yeah like like i said <laughs> no judgment but like yeah you know you She's kinda, not doing the best. Sure. Yeah, I agree. You own a skin spa. What did they do? Yeah. What did they try mm-hmm. on you? <laughs> Something that I hope they don't try on other customers. <laughs> right. Like I think <laughs> that whatever they did to you, I hope it stopped there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they realized it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> so now we see a picture of Dirty Harry on the bed. Right. Gross. Uh huh. Which I can't believe his name is Harris. I thought it was Paris this whole time. I want you to know. I thought his name was. No, Paris. I've been calling him Dirty Harry. No, I thought his name was Paris. Listen, I don't okay. know. You I don't, thought it was Paris. You don't question me. All right. No, I don't. I really, I, you lead me blindly. Well, <laughs> no, let me tell you. <laughs> she totally tries to blame this on him. And this is where I kind of lose her too. Yeah. She goes, it's been so long since you made me feel special. Okay. Stephanie. Okay. Stephanie. Cry me a river. Stephanie, mm-hmm. get a different boyfriend. Well, that's the thing. What are you doing, Stephanie? Then she tells him that he spent the night and he's like, yeah, I work at this resort. Uh-huh. Right. Do you think nobody's going to tell me? Also, my cousin, his cousin definitely told him this is a joke. For between sure. Bu- uh-huh. This- he's probably like, can you please for two or three minutes just bang this lady? Just to get her off my back for the just night? Just please. And then I'll yeah. pretend that I'm upset. I'll pretend that I hate you. Whatever. And just then do- I can break up with her. He's like, I will give you one snake watch. I just want to say this. Did you see the coming attractions? I did. Oh, okay. Good. I, did. I like that. Okay. So, um, I'll give you one <laughs> snake watch. <laughs> sure. I'll give you a swatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So he said that he knew her crying is so pitiful. I mean, but it's also tearless. It's tearless. Betty and Stephanie. Mm-hmm. Listen, when you're crying over your son, it's tearless. Apparently. I guess. <laughs> so he said that Ar- Harris is an a-hole. Right. He said his friends told him. Mm-hmm. He's like, Harris is a backstabber. It's not convincing when he's saying this. Because he doesn't care. He's like, he. I, I like that he's like, that. Like I've been known. Sure. Like, you're not surprising me. Also, he said that he forgives her, but Harris mm-hmm. is dead to him. Okay, but he's saying that because he knows that's going to grease her. She right? likes that. Uh-huh. And she thinks that he's still secretly mad. You think he's laying there thinking about where he went wrong with life. Thinking about you look like something very bad happened yeah, he's to like, you. And he has to sleep with you. Spa. <laughs> he's like two or three minutes. He's like, it wasn't <laughs> even dark out yet. <laughs> he's like the glowing is coming from her chin. <laughs> and her mustache. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk oh. about the most unlikable couple on this entire uh, the most okay you know what though i'm gonna i'm gonna backpedal that and say that that's not true as the most unlikable couple yeah. mm-hmm. i mean a lot of them are very unlikable I know. but he he she's okay he's very it's unlikable him. so now yep. it's july 2020 she's back in france and yeah. she said that she barely talked to him because he's very busy on his trip doing tours but that's where we wouldn't be together i mean we wouldn't be together because you left me to rot in a jail i know but you were at okay the here's the thing noel you have to book swimming with the dolphins two weeks before your trip. Well, he had it, he probably had it booked for her and him. 
okay, but I'm not going to not swim with dolphins because you went to jail. Okay, I mean, that's what I wouldn't do. I don't <laughs> hate him for that. I hate him because he suddenly, like, doesn't care what she's doing. You know, he's, no, like, he not talking to her. So yeah. she says to him, I can't sleep at night. And he's like, oh, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, I yeah, had tacos. I'm getting a great night of sleep here. <laughs> he's like, I had tacos. He's like, do you like water aerobics? <laughs> he's like, I had a massage. <laughs> my mom came here and conditioned my hair. Yeah, I had a nice we, hot stone massage. <laughs> we did conditioner together. He's uh-huh. like, anyway, what do you feel about Serbia? Okay. And she's like, for us? And he's like, mm, more for you. So she's supposed to go to Serbia, mm-hmm. quarantine for 14 days, and then come to America? Right. So they're saying that she could get into America via Serbia. Why? I don't know. I guess They said no- that about Mexico, too. <laughs> I know. Well, that didn't work you out know? as well. Yeah. Um, but I love that he has to go back to work at his mom's daycare. Yeah, well, he's got to get back. The kids miss him. He's like, uh, hello, do you think my mom dresses up like a knight in shining armor? No. Right. Someone has to be Jon Snow here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, uh, she says that I need to think about it. He's like, yeah, you need to hurry and make your decision. Well, because it's like 30 days before the visa expires. Okay, but she says that she doesn't want to lose him. Yeah, I think she doesn't want to lose her ticket to America. What's really so bad do. in France? That's what I need to know. What is happening? What is so yeah, bad Yeah, because isn't France? France like a great place to live? Uh, the only thing is I hear now there's like a lot of terrorism right. in France. But I mean, but there like, is here too. No, 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 I know. But it's like, I don't know. Fran- France seems great. A lot of butter, a lot of cigarettes. Like <laughs> I could live there. <laughs> oh, I could. Mm, a lot of butter. A yum, Newport butter croissant. And- <laughs> A Newport <laughs> croissant. And then that, that syrup she's drinking with her dad is like, build your own drink. I love that. It's like when you go to the fast food places and you could, what is it? The Sprite Remix machine? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So they have one of those in Wawa, but it's a Coke and you could do anything you want. What'd you do with it? it? I mean, obviously I go cherry. I don't really go right. too crazy because cherry is just the way to go. Uh, I just want to let you know that I'm, Almost positive Forever 21 has a cherry Coke line now. Stop it. Yeah. Am I, I have to be that girl oh, now, wait. like the girl we were talking about today? Yes. Maybe <laughs> it's Target, but I'm going to send you some merch later. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So now we meet her friend Xavier. Xavier has borrowed Mr. Potato Head's glasses and what smashed them onto that? his head. Yes. He looks like Drew Carey with Mr. Potato <laughs> yes. Head glasses. Yes. So <laughs> she explains to him that Andrew is still on vacation swimming with the dolphins, but she <laughs> is probably going to go to Serbia. And Xavier's like, uh, no. Yeah. Xavier's like, hello? Is anyone in there? And she says if she doesn't go, he will be crushed. But then she says something that brings it all together. What it really ties the room together. This is that the rug. That is her dream. It is my dream to go to America. Thank you for clearing that up. Thank you. Okay. But I respect her so much more because for a minute I'm like, oh, she loves Andrew. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, okay, you just, thank you for telling us. Like, even if you don't tell Andrew, just tell us. Yeah. But I have so many guys here that would be like a better choice than Andrew. Correct. Mm -hmm. And New York is funner. Way more fun. Yeah. So let's talk about Rebecca and Zayed. Okay, I did not really like their segments this week. Okay, this is the third day he's here. I know, it's so crazy. They still only have like a frying pan. Okay, but this pan make very good steak. And lamb. Uh, okay, Why is she talking like stop. this? Stop. Mm-hmm. He's like, Rebecca, <laughs> I speak English. He speaks it all the way. She's too. like, you speak very good sometime. <laughs> Do you want me cook you? Like... What? He's like, no, I don't want you to cook me. <laughs> I would like you to cook me a steak in this very good pan. I don't know why she's like this, but it's really frustrating. Well, she said everything's in storage, but she has work. Okay. Okay, but you don't have work today. I just feel like. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that her job as a fast food chicken place manager isn't super important and detrimental sure. to the economy. Right. But, like, I think someone might be able to cover your shift so you can get everything you own out of storage. Or maybe you could mm-hmm. hire someone. Also, I think she 100% could have done it before he came. I think she was being lazy. I do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Her son-in-law and daughter could have done it. Yes. Agreed. Mm-hmm. This is ridiculous. So, anyway, 
she um hasn't told him the secret uh-huh. she the hasn't hi- told the, the history the- that she has with this building was Who she cares? dating the building uh-huh she must have he her ex must have built that building and he's still in every brick uh-huh. <laughs> He still <laughs> lives there, actually. In her apartment with him. She's like, you know the shopping cart? That's my <laughs> ex. <laughs> he was a shopping cart from Morocco. You see that grout? That's my ex. There's a little bit of my ex mixed in there. <laughs> you know that jug of milk? That was actually my ex from Morocco. It was That was goat milk. Ew, okay. Gross. <laughs> All right, so she's like remember my friend Melanie that forced me to do a background check against you, uh, you know, like against your will? That was my P.I. boss. Uh-huh. And he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, and she's like, listen, I really don't want Melanie to compare him to my ex from Morocco. <laughs> so Melanie walks in. First of all, time has not been well to Melanie. No, Melanie, um, she's not doing great. Melanie she's not living was, her best life. She was on an accelerated <laughs> trip around the earth. <laughs> <laughs> tell me i'm yeah. wrong no right. you're not wrong because she does not look at all okay so melanie walks in and this is what rebecca says what doesn't he look good he always smells good why does she do that why does she pawn his scent off to people i don't know also like no one thinks he smells rebecca do you think right, that maybe like, her ex smelled and people would tell her hey listen uh, he smells oh maybe all right That's, so now that could be Zayad stands there like a proud schoolboy and she says to Melanie, what do you think? Is she supposed to say like, oh yeah, I, I rate him an eight. Like why? What, what does that we mean? I don't know. But so Melanie's like, so do your parents and sister, like how, you know, do they miss you? Right. Um, he's been there for three days. Like he's still jet lagged. Well, she's trying to, you know, she's trying to work her way in here. Okay. Well, she's mm-hmm. like, what'd you do today? And he's like, I watched a movie. It's yeah. eight o'clock in the morning, Melanie. Why are you here? Right. What do you want from me? And Melanie's like, yeah, well, you could walk down the block to work somewhere. He's like, I can't work. There's plenty of businesses. Shut no, up. No, he's like, no, legally, I can't right. work. You should know that you were the one doing my background check. You're a private investigator. Be smarter. Mm-hmm. This is why Rebecca doesn't work for you anymore. So now mm-hmm. Melanie's putting down Rebecca in front of him. Yeah, it, I really got mad about And this. she's like, listen, he's the same as your ex. This is even the same apartment you lived in. Mm-hmm. And now this is like soap opera music drama. Yeah, it was stupid. Dun, dun, dun. So, you know, he seems mad. And she's yeah. going to throw it. I think he wasn't room. expecting it. I think he was kind of like, why is she telling me? Sure. So now Rebecca's going to throw a tantrum. She's going to yes. start stomping her feet. Uh-huh. And uh, Zayed says, I had this. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Noel. Yeah. Rebecca's mm-hmm. behavior is so unattractive. This is why people treat her like this. Okay. But that's what I was just going to bring up to yeah. I, you. know, there's a lot of people on these shows that you and I talk about and we say they're like, love to play the victim. Mm-hmm. She is not one of them. She is the victim. But why is she bullied by everyone? Everyone. I mean, she honestly, has she's not treated yes. well. She is the type of person that when you speak to her loudly, she flinches. It really is upsetting. I don't yes, like that. Yes, she does. Mm-hmm. So um, she says, Melanie says, I just want to make sure she's in a good place. So that's why I came over. I wanted to abuse her a little bit, abuse you a little bit. See how long it would take her to cry. I just want to make sure she's in a good place. Right. I just want to berate her. Right. And I got to tell you, Zayed stands up to her. Yeah, which I like finally because he hasn't said anything to anybody, Mm -hmm. which is like, good. I'm glad that you said something. He's like, Melanie, I met the shopping cart. We get along. What is your problem? I've seen the grout, (laughs) Melanie. Stop, stop. So then Rebecca says, why doesn't anyone trust me? Um, Okay, well, I am going to actually answer that question for you. Okay, let's hear it. Rebecca, you apparently have very arrested development. Okay, so for the people who are not sure what that means, me, 
What is arrested development? So arrested development means that at some point in your life, you're you stop developing past a certain age. OK, so like when I say that, like somebody's like emotionally stunted, that's exactly. like the same thing. Okay. Exactly. OK, she, tell me she's not. Yeah, you know, she absolutely is. I feel bad for her. I don't think she's well. OK, so let's pretend yeah. I was going to marry Zayed. You came to my apartment. OK. And you talked to Zayed the way and me, the way that Melanie talked to Rebecca. You would throw me out. I'd be like, well, no, well, that was a really fun visit. And you can go to hell. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to be leaving. And then I would close the door and I would say, wow, Zayed, that's so weird. We're not friends with her anymore. Yep. Exactly. That's and exactly then, what I would do. Then that would be it. She lets people push her. But around. again, you wouldn't do that to me because we don't treat each other like that. No, of course not. It's so disrespectful. And it's not just to him. It's to her, too, which oh, is what sure. I don't like. So then Melanie laughs and hugs her. And she's like, oh, come on, Rebecca. You can't take a little bit of abuse. So I took a hammer and I hit you in the head for 45 right. minutes. Stop so it. I embarrassed you in yeah. front of your love. So, so what? So then he goes to take a shower and then you, the camera pans out to her wide leg jeans. <laughs> That girl loves a wide leg jean. Whew. She really does. Someone posted in the group that she finally changed her hair. It looks wonderful. It looks better. Yeah, it looks way better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now this is my most hated uh, couple. I think that they're my most hated couple because they're I'm over it. It's not real. So it's Tariq not, and yeah. Hazel, this is March 2020. So this is right when Corona hits. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's 65 days until they get married and the cut like their state, their country is shut down. Production sure. is halted and they have to self tape, which is, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So they're going to drink some wine and he gives a turn and says, it's nice and grapey. <laughs> okay. But it's so much wine. Noel, <gasps> it's like a four glass pour. Yeah. I'm like, why is there so much wine here? <laughs> it's insane. So now they want a girlfriend. So, they're going to mm -hmm. go online dating. And he's like, listen, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for someone who's fat, P-H-A-T, pretty hot and tempting. And then we will dive in. Okay. The thing is, I wrote that down and I'm saying like, I said fat like my whole mm -hmm. life. Like, is that what that stands for? Oh, pretty? I don't know. I don't know. Does that really stand for I that? don't know, guys. Go into the group and tell when me. When I would say, what... yo, that shirt is fat. That's like what fat I baby. meant. Fat yeah. Baby. Right. No. All right. Well. <laughs> He's letting Hazel be herself, which is so nice of him because uh, her parents <laughs> don't accept her sexuality. And she this is why she's looking for a woman to be in a relationship with. You ready? Why? She wants a sister, a best friend and a lover. Didn't George Michael have a song like this? <laughs> He'll be your father figure. <laughs> no, well, real question. Is Matt like a brother to you? No, no, he's not. <laughs> uh, the last thing I want to do is sleep with my brother. <laughs> I mean, let's be no honest. Good? No. She, well, she wants to sleep with her sister. Um, and <laughs> she, now, yeah. now they're browsing and he's like, would you like a petite girl? And she says, teat, teat, teat. Why do you keep saying teat? <laughs> I don't know. So now she said that she wants a brown girl with good breath. And yeah, okay. his rule is that there's no girlfriend around Ari and they have 51 days to get married. OK, but here's the thing. I feel like. Does she really want Tariq involved? No. But also, I think that... No, I think that she wants to come to America. Yeah. I think she wants to be in a relationship with a girl because I think that she feels safer with a woman. So do I. Uh, and I think then she will see if she could bring her son. Yes. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's happening. And also, I think she's been with Tariq so long that it's like he's 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 safe for her. Too, sure. Because yep. she has a, he has a daughter. Yeah. Like, OK. Uh huh. But here's the other thing. It's like you have 57 days to get married or whatever. Uh huh. 51 days. Why don't you focus on that? And then no. what, you're going to get a girlfriend during Corona. No, they want a girl. Well, she wants a girlfriend. I don't even think he's he's that interested in having a girlfriend. I think it's her. Yeah, it is her. But also, yeah. I don't think that she wants him involved in any way. No, which I think she should just tell him because he's asking, like, what are the ground rules? Which right. I, I think you should talk about. Sure. That. I think she should be like, I I will go hang out with her and you could babysit. And you will stay here <laughs> with Ari. That's why yeah. she will never know. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, you are not allowed to be involved with me and my girlfriend because our last girlfriend, you didn't pronounce her name correctly. Right. You keep calling her Minnie. Mindy. Mini. Right or mini, yep. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, her name is Minty. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been a great episode. Don't miss our Trash Talk After Party over on the Stereo app. We'll be going live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we want to hear from you. Our first Stereo show was so much fun. So Stereo is the app for live social conversation, and we want to talk directly with you, our listeners. You could join our show and ask questions about anything, 90 Day Fiance, Teen Mom Trash Talk, and share your experiences and opinions. We want to hear everything. Download now and join us live this week, and the link is going to be in uh, our description. I I have to tell you, I really can't wait. Like, for real, I can't wait. I can't wait either. Especially because I get to hang out with you. Yeah, so download the Stereo app. You can find me at Trixie Tuzini. Noelle is Noe Girl. And um, yeah, we're we're there. We have some merch for sale if you go to our social media. And make sure you join Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. But I want to let you know the Stereo app is free. The Stereo app is free and... We can't see what you're doing. No, it's it's only no. audio. So it's, yes. there's no video at all. So you're safe, guys. Safe. Okay, safe. so come. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Bye.